Taiwan is divided into different counties and the second largest county is called Nantou. Now that county is sort of in the middle of the island amongst the mountains, a very, very beautiful place. Arguably most famous for a lake that's situated in the mountains called Sun Moon Lake. I've done a clip on Sun Moon Lake, which you can see on my blog page. However, this beautiful county has a lot more to offer than just that lake. The easiest way to get to Nanto would be to drive, I think. I took the number three freeway all the way down until it crossed with the number six. And then I took the number six inland, which was very easy and it only took around three and a half hours from Taipei. Alternatively, you can take the HSR to Taichung and rent a car from there. Now for some facts on Nanto, as I've mentioned, it's the second largest county, occupying an area of around 4,100 square kilometers. Also, it's the only county in Taiwan that does not border on the coast. And it's home to 42 3,000 plus meter high mountains, including the highest mountain peak in Taiwan called Yushan. And amongst these beautiful mountains, you'll find Taiwan's longest river, Zuo Sui River, at 186 kilometers, which serves as the official boundary between the north and the south of Taiwan. This is a fast moving river that runs down the steep mountains in Nanto, so it contains a high quantity of sand, therefore the name means muddy river. Nanto County is heavily dependent on farming and it's this rustic landscape that draws a lot of visitors. The county has a bunch of recreational farms that make for a fantastic outdoor excursion. One of the most popular farms in the area must be the Qingjing sheep farm, high up in the mountains with almost two tame sheep trotting about. Check out the clip I did on Qingjing farm for more on this cool spot. All along the mountain slopes you'll find little B&Bs and hotels, most of them looking like images from postcards in the Swiss Alps or somewhere. And while driving, I noticed a really cool little walking path just off the road, amongst the trees, perfect for a morning stroll. Speaking of morning stroll, Nanto is probably most famous for Sun Moon Lake, the biggest body of water in Taiwan. I did some clips on Sun Moon Lake, including a morning stroll next to the lake. All of those you can check out on my blog page.